Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to review the SI4732 Mini Pocket Radio. And I bought mine from AliExpress. I paid about, I think it was a $27.92 with this uh, loop antenna. Uh, you can buy with the loop antenna. You can buy without any antenna or you can buy with the whip. I already have the whip from another radio. So I decided to try this out. And uh, I've been making videos on there. I've been making uh, live streams on there. So that's why I'm making this review video. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything because the menu system, there is a lot more to go through. And um, uh, first thing is first, of course, it's a 3D printed plastic case. Uh, this is the uh, knob for everything. You know, it's a push knob. It's for tuning, but it's also to get in the menu system. And there's an on-off switch right here, a little tiny little switch there. Of course, you got the USB Type C. This is for charging, but this is also when you're going to do the firmware update. You can also do, you know, you do the firmware update through there. Of course, you got an SMA connector, and you know, in this case, I have this antenna. It's a kind of a wide band antenna, nine point nine kilohertz up to one eighty one megahertz. So it's pretty wide band up to the VHF range. And um, uh, the speaker grill is right there. There's four little tiny little Phillips screws. You can just uh, remove them and you open up this case if you need to. And there's the audio port, okay? So we're going to turn it on. And, of course, let's turn it on. And you can see in my particular one, I already updated the firmware. And... Uh, I actually lower the brightness on this one. So first thing is first, let me uh bring up the brightness. Let me increase the brightness on that one. Yeah, I think that's good right there. And then let me put it on the uh, medium wave bands. Okay. And we're just going to go down in the, uh, just pick a station down here. You know, it does not have a keypad, and uh, you, that can be a little cumbersome for some. But you can jump around different bands. Okay, and uh, you know, it works. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this is that when you do get this radio, the default system the menu system the software um it's horrible you're gonna have to upgrade because of this uh when you want to access the menu now everything is in one menu one long menu and it doesn't time out so easily as you can see it's still there it's usually there for a couple of seconds or so okay and then it'll go away yeah about almost uh i think uh, three seconds or so i don't know something like that the original uh, uh, firmware was horrible. It would time out very fast. You know, literally very fast. And also, uh, the original one, it only had the bands. When you press once, you only saw the bands. And then you had to a, a do a quick double tap, which is horrible to get into the uh, submenus. So the firmware update is highly recommended. Otherwise, you're going to put down this radio. You're not going to want to use it. And I was getting to that point. But luckily, the firmware update was available. And now I have fun with this radio. I had, this fun, I had fun with this radio yesterday on the live stream. Okay. And um, let me turn it off for a minute. So let me talk about the performance on this radio. Before I get into the uh, some of the negative stuff. Uh, medium, wa uh, medium wave. Um, this radio, I'm going to say, is a... Uh, is a medium wave DXing radio. Uh, surprisingly, um, we, we, uh, not with the stock antenna, but with the MLA 30, I did pick up a few uh, stations that I, you know, consider for DXing. So definitely, I would recommend this radio for like a pocket medium wave DXer radio. Um, 
FM reception on this radio is great also. It does have RDS, which is pretty cool, especially for radio uh, of this uh, price range. Also, it has single sideband. And I did I when I showed that on the live stream, uh, you know, it has lower sideband and upper sideband. It also has a calibration tool, uh, which is pretty cool. I, I haven't I haven't even need, I have no need to use a calibration tool because this thing tunes well on, on, on single sideband. It's pretty cool. I mean it's amazing that this radio so small can do all that. Can do single sideband. You know, lower sideband, upper sideband, separate, you know, you can pick either one. And it's just, you know, it, it blows my mind. Okay. Um, this radio does go down to the long wave band. Uh, I, start, I believe the lowest is 150 kilohertz all the way up to 108 megahertz. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me turn it on one more time so I can show you the, uh, so you can see this has been updated because it shows that. So if you go to band, you have all these bands right here. You see, you start with all, then you have VHF. Or VHF is is VHF is FM. Then you have medium wave one. You have uh, you know, medium wave two, which is the uh, nine kilohertz one facing. And then of course you have this uh, what is it, hundred sixty meter band or so. And then it just goes, you know, they have, you know, the hand bands, front wave bands. Okay, so you can jump around. You can definitely, even the CV band, 10 meter band, and then it goes back to all VHF and then medium wave. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, there is a Seek. It's not a, it's not an ETM scan, but it's a Seek. So you can Seek up or down if you don't want to be uh, moving the dial. You know, I'll show you. Let me seek down. I should let me seek down. I'll show you. But it, the problem is, it's doing them. There you go. Okay, it did it. Uh, it's doing my five. I don't know why it did that. But uh, it's right there. See, it's a 970 the answer. Okay. Um, it, you know, it works. It's okay. Okay, let me turn that off. Um, what else I can add to it? So, uh, long wave, you know, somebody keep asked a couple of, somebody asked me long wave a couple of times about it as a performance. Uh, I, long wave, I can't test it because I don't get no, haven't had any signals in long wave of any type in a long time. So, I can't really uh, talk about long wave. But medium wave is, I'm still gonna say, it's pretty good. Pretty good on medium wave. Short wave is very good. Surprisingly, is very good. And FM is uh, very good. Now, it does suffer from overload. But, you know, that's expected for radio at this price, of course. And it does have one major thing that could be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Um, I thought mine was the, I thought mine was, uh, you know, not working properly. But the audio output on the uh, headphone jack is very, very low. And I thought, I mean, it was just my radio. But... You know, I, I, a couple of people left comments on it that this is a, a flaw with this radio. The audio port is very, very... So if you're going to hook this up with earbuds, it's not going to work. It's too low. You're going to need some kind of amplified uh, speaker or amplified, you know, headphones or whatever for you to hear, hear this okay. So this is a one major... I'm not going to say major... Is the audio output on this is very very low? It's 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 I'm gonna say it's horrible. But the rest of the radio is fine. It's just that they need to improve that. But you know it's not a deal breaker for me because I don't listen to headphones of a radio like this. I rather hook this up to amplify speakers. And quite frankly, I don't need to because you know this little speaker, believe it or not, um, sounds pretty good for a radio this size. It's amazing. Even through the live streams, everybody tells me how well they can hear this little speaker. Okay? You know, you're going to have to put the volume all the way up. That's fine. But I'm just letting you know that, that you know, some people might, that might be a deal breaker. And uh, one, of the, one of the things I wanted to cover, so that was, that's a major flaw. Of course, this knob can be replaced. You can pull this knob out. There's no set screw. You just pull it out. You can put a bigger knob. I see people do that. 
but definitely you're gonna need the upgrade you're gonna have to uh and i'll put the video link in the description for that uh the default menu system is horrible you don't believe me you don't want to you're gonna want to upgrade it as soon as you get it okay uh battery life on this thing is about uh i got it about four hours about yeah, you know, about four hours of battery life on the full charge. It is a very tiny battery. That's in here. It looks like a little pillow type flat battery, a little rectangular pillow battery. Okay. And so, you know, my my overall recommendation is this, if you're, you know, uh is it my go-to radio? No, but it's a fun little radio after the update. After the firmware update, it is a fun little radio. Uh, before that, it was not fun. <laughs> Actually, it was very annoying and frustrating. But now with the firmware update, it is much better. By a lot. It's so much better. Okay? And uh, it unlocks a whole bunch of other stuff. And there's already a couple of other uh, firmware updates. I'm going to eventually upgrade to 1.1. And as you can see here, you see they have a couple of spare. It's a spare one. That's the empty menu item there. That's That means they're going to future expand this radio more. Uh, they have stuff here. They are, they're even talking about maybe opening up to uh, UHF. Or, you know, include a couple of more things like NOAA. You know, weather band. And maybe the air band, things like that. So this radio is uh, one of those up radios that you're going to, you know, if you like uh, playing around with a small radio like this, I'm going to say it's a fun radio. You know, I'm going to say it. It's a fun radio. I'm having fun with it now. You know, after the up, after the uh, firmware update, it's a fun radio. I hooked this up to the ML30. I have fun. Uh, this antenna is pretty cool. And like I said, twenty seven dollars ninety two cents. I'll put the Amazon link. I seen this for around twenty nine dollars. You know, if you want to get it any faster, because my radio took about a month to get here, but it was more of a mix up. But I think at that time it was just uh, a lot of supply and demand, and they were backlog. Okay, so there you go. So I'm gonna say this radio is a buy if you don't care about the headphone jack. Number one. And number two, you need to upgrade the firmware. Definitely, you have to upgrade the firmware. And, um, and other than that, I'm going to say it's a buy. I mean, if you, especially if you get it with this antenna, you know. I, I, So, you know, if you break down the cost, $27.92, $30, you're paying basically $15 for this and then probably $14 for this or something like that. It's a real good deal. Okay, so there you go. So that's my review of the SI4732 Mini Pocket Radio. And I'm definitely having a blast with this radio. So there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.